So let's have a look at Procreate today. It's this um, beautiful icon next to the Twitter, the Procreate beautiful icon. It's very similar to Photoshop, um, has some beautiful textured brushes. Um, would suggest it's probably middle to upper primary and into secondary. Um, it probably has a few more capabilities than Drawing Pad, my last tutorial. So when we go to our page here, you can see what can be done in Procreate. At the top right-hand corner, there's that plus sign again. That allows us to create a new doc. We'll just do the standard definition. doesn't really matter. Um, and you'll see a very simple interface here. Um, not a lot on it. You can see the color blue at the top right-hand corner. Um, so that's the color of my brush. If I hold my finger down on the brush, it gives me some gives me some different textures, brushes, uh, paintings, airbrushes, and abstract, and so on. So let's um, let's take uh, let's take go to the airbrushing and maybe just find a nice medium hard airbrush. Um, we might go with a green color. So I've just pressed on the blue there and I've selected a nice green color. And then I press on my page again to get rid of my brush. And so what I'm going to do is just a nice airbrush here of some green grass. And we're just working on the background at the moment. And then I might change the color and go over to uh, a sky blue. Not exactly a sky blue, but that'll do. So we're just working on a background at the moment, not worried about too much in regard to detail. Certainly not an artist. And I might just put in some white flecks in there too, just some white flecks to make it a little bit cloudier and so on. Okay, so what we've done there is just a basic background. Now at the top right hand corner you'll see our colour palette, but you'll also see next to it a square upon a square. Now when I hold that down, it shows me my layers. So that's my background layer there. And if I press the little plus, it allows me to create a new layer. So now I'll touch on the side of the screen again to get rid of it. I'm going to select a different brush here, definitely. I'll go to my sketching brush, I think, and select uh, just a 6B pencil. And what I'll do is I'll change the color to a maybe a kind of a browny type color, yellow will do, orangey. And then you'll see there that when I'm doing my sketching, it's like a, a it's like a real 2B pencil. Once again, not an artist, just showing you the different layers. And then we might select another brush there. Um, what about a texture? Let's have a look at a texture. And I might go with a grungy type leaf. Might be a good idea. Nice light green and then we can just do some kind of grungy um, green there over the top to get rid of the branches and we've got there a basic basic landscape theme. If I go back up to that um, layers palette again, you can see my two layers now. So instead of deleting my whole work, like Photoshop um, has as well, the capabilities of layers in Photoshop, we're able to turn on and off layers and you can see there, I can just look at my tree for example, or I can add both of them and show both of them and I can delete and edit layers. And so for the middle and upper primary, this comes really beneficial. So I'm going to click off that. That's a nice quick tutorial on Procreate. There are some other tools there that I'll let you explore at your leisure. Uh, finally, I wanted to show you, uh, you'll see at the top left hand corner, there's the gallery, going back to the gallery, but there's also the tool at the top, the spanner. When I click that, I've got lots of different actions. For me, I'm just going to send it to photos, the bottom one. And what that'll do is give me an option of a PNG or a JPEG. I'll just pick a JPEG. It saves it and it sends it, um, it, sends it over to my camera roll in which I can use it with Keynote, I can use it with Explain Everything, I can use it in Pages, um, lots of different things that I can use that in. So that's Procreate, wonderful, fantastic drawing illustration tool. Um, if you really want to produce some professional looking images, I would suggest using a stylus, a stylus pen for the iPad, um, so that you can really get the detail that you need. Paul Hamilton from Apps by Paul Hamilton, signing off.